Item 10B, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract amendment with RMC Water and Environment in an amount not to exceed $77,970 for analysis and incorporation of additional CCTV data in the sewer master plan for a total contract amount not to exceed $387,390. Honorable Mayor, Council Member, good evening. I have with me Wing Wong, who is the project manager for the sewer, uh, for uh, the update of the sewer system master plan, and he will help me with any uh, question what uh, you might have on uh, his project. The city's response, uh, the city provides sewer collection and discharge services to our residents. As such, is uh, the city responsible for proper management of the system? In order for us to manage our sewer system in the most effective uh, uh, way possible, the city took on two projects, two major projects in, do, uh, in two different time frame, and those two projects follow uh, somehow two parallel paths. The first uh, uh, big project was started in early 2008, the condition assessment of uh, our uh, system. The total budget uh, for this project was 1.4 uh, million, and the intent and the scope of this project was to uh, inspect using video cameras the whole system and to assess the condition of the system and to uh, establish the deficiencies of the system the second project, uh, this project now uh, was completed and uh, uh, still about 100,000 is uh, left from uh, uh, the budget of this project. The second uh, big project was updating our sewer system master plan. The work started early 2011. You approved uh, the contract in December 2010, and then the work uh, on the uh, update of the sewer system master plan started in early uh, 2011. The purpose of updating our sewer system uh, master plan, uh, the master plan is a, uh, a planning document assessing the need of the system, making recommendation how to address those needs and uh, recommending priorities for uh, those uh, needs. The, sewer, uh, the updated sewer system master plan is a, in a final draft form, is uh, ready in the existing form uh, for, uh, the cons for further consideration uh, by uh, you. When uh, the sewer system master plan was developed. 40% of the inspection result, video inspection result was available uh, for uh, their uh, inclusion in the updated sewer master plan. Based on that 40% information available, they made uh, the recommendation for corrective action for those deficiency. And uh, using extrapolation, they extrapolated uh, the, uh, for the whole system the need. This is a, a very acceptable methodology for uh, the master plan development and uh, for uh, this planning document. Since then, our video inspection project and the condition uh, assessment project reached its uh, conclusion. And now the information is available for the whole system. Reason why uh, is, is timely to make specific assessment of uh, the deficiency on the remaining of the 60% of the system and to, pro uh, to recommend uh, sp specific correct, uh, corrective action, uh, like uh, uh, intensive maintenance, depending on the deficiency itself, 
uh, spot repair, uh, rehabil rehabilitation, replacement, whatever the best appropriate uh, means of uh, uh, addressing those uh, deficiencies. The city asked RMC who was, who updated our uh, sewer system master plan to give us a proposal for, uh, for the recommendation to review the deficiencies and to make recommendation for corrective action. RMC provided us with a proposal uh, of 43,000 to make those specific recommendations for uh, corrective action, and uh, additional 34,000 to include that information in uh, the draft, still a draft uh, updated sewer system master plan. In this case, the city will have a more precise uh, accurate document for your uh, consideration and review when uh, the, uh, fi the final draft will come uh, back to uh, you for uh, your consideration. Reason why is our recommendation to amend our contract with RMC for a total of $77,000 for making those recommendations and inclusion in our uh, updated sewer system uh, master plan. If you will support the recommendation tonight, then in uh, um, two, three months, the department will be able to come back with the final draft updated sewer system master plan for your consideration and approval. Um, this will conclude my presentation and uh, if you have any additional question, Wing and myself will be available for any answer. Questions of staff? To the chair, just so that I understand, uh, this, organ this agency is videoing the lines providing us a DVD and, uh, and, and analyzes what course of action or an action plan or deficiencies or areas that need to be repaired. And then they put together a document for, uh, I'll call it an action plan again, as far as what courses of action we should take as a city. So are they doing all of that? The proposal including all of those DVDs and that information about deficiency is in the system is already available for the whole system. RMC now would just, and they did exactly what you just said for uh, the 40% of the system. They will take the remaining 60% 60, uh, 60 of that information and they will review that uh, information and they will make specific recommendation for corrective action, and they will replace in the main document of the draft uh, sewer master plan the extrapolated recommendation with the specific recommendation, making that more precise. Okay. So, um, okay, so what I have heard is that they're taking the data, they're putting it together, they're analyzing it, they're getting the draft document together, they're giving it to staff, staff's then going to forward to the council and it gives us the ability to now see what we have. They've done all the analytical work, all the, the videoing and reviewing and uh, recommendations and, um, and the analytical aspect, and then, then that'll come forward. Is, is that fair? I just wanna make sure I was hearing right. Okay, city manager says yes. Um, thank you. Uh, okay, and then you're feeling that in two to three months they should be done with that part, because <clears throat> I know when we were videoing last time we kinda had to meet a deadline and you know, that was met more or less, but um, we had to kind of do double time to get that accomplished. But about two to three months, we feel that that would be done and it would complete this from, uh, from A to Z and have this document now, the most current update with all the uh, analysis necessary, and we're done with this for, for now. You are absolutely correct, Council Member. Thank you, Clara. <laughs> Irene? Thank you. 
is there a mechanism in place or will there be a mechanism in place as we make repairs to different pieces of it to incorporate the new information into the ex what will be the existing master plan? The master plan is a planning document, how I said, uh, which will be uh, updated. Uh, our last master plan was uh, developed in 2001, that uh, uh, after 10 years, our master plan was updated. Uh, typically in the industry uh, can be updated each five years or each 10 years. Uh, I will make one uh, important comment that the video inspection and uh, the condition assessment of our system, it is a ongoing operational and maintenance activity. And based on the new video inspection information, that new information will be used to take action and to address the deficiency, like doing the spot repair or uh, intensive uh, maintenance, root control, or uh, hot spot uh, uh, cleaning on our uh, system. But those additional information will not be included in the master plan. The master plan will be a final document, but still this inspection will be a ongoing effort, operational and maintenance effort, and uh, uh, the video is a tool how you are in inspecting our system, but like with any other infrastructure or uh, you need that ongoing uh, inspection and then action. Okay, thank you. I, I asked the question incorrectly, and you, you answered the question I asked, which was very well done, but not really what I was wanted to know. As this is the very first time in my memory, which is not what it used to be, that we videoed the whole system. Is that correct? Okay. So as we fix pieces, are we going to add to the existing video library, so to speak, or data to make sure that we keep that as up to date as possible, as staff changes, as things change, so that people don't have to keep going back and going, well, did we do this, did we not do this? Is it, is it going to be some kind of mechanism, or maybe it doesn't exist, I don't know, that they'll have that available to people? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the plan was from the beginning that uh, the video inspection can be loaded to okay. G GIS, is tied to GIS, and also uh, uh, can be tied and will be tied with the CMMS. And basically, you can look at any uh, location in our system, and uh, the CMS should include the most updated information inspection result for that section of sewer. Okay, thank you. That's what I wanted to know. Anyone else? Action on this item. Chair? Michael? Actually, I have a question. Uh, thank you. When we initially wrote the contract for the video inspection, that was written to address only whatever video had been taken to that point, or was it based on, I, I'm wondering, did, did we write a contract that actually said we're only gonna, we're only gonna inspect 40% of the video that we take? Or was it intended initially that the contract would cover all video that was gonna be available? The contract for, was for, the intent was of the contract to cover the whole system. Uh, if you recall uh, that uh, I, uh, the department came back last year, uh, late spring, to amend that contract to include an additional 22 mile, that was a miscalculation in the beginning of the contract, and uh, was amended the contract to include the video inspection of the whole system. And that was completed and performed was only 40% available of already certified information, quality reviewed and all of the information available for the consultant of the update of the sewer master plan at the time when they reached that stage in the development of the sewer system master plan 
to use only just 40% of that information. But now it's available 100%. So question I think uh, I needed some help, and I got some help, and hopefully you will have the right answer now. Uh, RMC contract, the contract for the sewer system master plan included in the initial scope of that contract was included to use the interpretation of the 25% of the system information and to extrapolate 75% of it. But at that time was already the city video inspection project, which was a different one, was already a little bit more advanced. And they were, inclu they were able at that time to include 40% instead of 25%, and just to extrapolate the 60% of it. Okay. And I guess I was confused because in the discussion it does say that they're going to, part of the scope is for them to uh, make the recommendations um, based on that new 60%. So when you answered Mr. Medina's question, it sounded like all the analysis was done, yet in this discussion it says part of this 77,000 is going toward the analysis of the data. So I'm confused. Is, is it done or isn't it? We'll, how I understood uh, uh, Council Member uh, Medina question that when this will be done, then everything will be done. And that's at least I try to answer. But with this 60% additional work to review those deficiencies and to make specific recommendation how to fix that for the 60% of the system, then will be done as part of this contract, and then will be done for the 100% of the system. Okay. So if we were to just forget about the master plan for now and just say, we've got this video data, we would still need to analyze that data. Absolutely. You are correct. So roughly half of what we're doing is to complete the analysis of our new video data. The other half is to incorporate into the master plan. You are absolutely correct. Okay. Now, based on the assumptions, the, the extrapolation that was done initially, um, what do we know about the quality of, of those estimates? Is the f initial 40% based on the worst uh, condition pipes in the city, or w was that 40% just taken at random in different neighborhoods? The first uh, 40% uh, percent included uh, uh, worst portion of our system, and everybody felt very comfortable with the extrapolation and the quality result of that extrapolation at that time, and uh, uh, this is a very typical practice uh, for uh, master plan development. So we, we could feel pretty comfortable that our current draft plan is still going to be a pretty solid plan and that the incremental data would make it better, no doubt, but probably incrementally and maybe only a small increment better than it currently stands. Oh, the draft master plan is valid and has uh, uh, a uh, uh, substantiated uh, document and this additional, uh, more precise information will increase the value, making it more uh, accurate and mm -hmm. more up-to-date and more correct. This is a opportunity uh, action on our part. If, uh, let's say, uh, the master plan would have been already approved uh, and finalized, probably I, uh, the department would not come back to you uh, with this action. Uh, but uh, not having that finalized yet and uh, approved by you uh, would be a misopportunity on our part not to give you that opportunity 
uh, to uh, set the expectation for a higher quality uh, finalized document. Okay, so we have to define, figure out if that increment is is worth the uh, the extra seventy seven thousand. Do we get that much more value out of it? Um, okay. Um, can I clarify for just one moment? The the incremental value is the thirty thousand dollars because you're going to do the analysis anyway, and some amount would need to be spent on that, and we would estimate plus or minus the forty three thousand dollars that's currently proposed. And that's a great segue into my last question, which is, um, do we anticipate that at any point in the future we will become self sufficient in the analysis of of sewer video? It is, or will be, will be your final decision how to manage uh, this in long term. Uh, the department uh, is in a transition period. How um, was discussed uh, previously? This was the first time in the series history when all of our system was uh, uh, video inspected. This year, uh, the department uh, entered in, um, and you already uh, saw the line item in our operating budget, a new item for uh, uh, video inspection services provided by a uh, uh, private contractor. Uh, this will be a limited service. Um, most of the agencies are trying to develop that capability themselves, this is a ongoing need to be able to properly manage the system. Uh, was included uh, a few years ago, a video inspection equipment in our CIP. The department pushed always a little bit further out until uh, we'll develop a more um, comfortable plan depending on, uh, uh, it's a huge learning curve in the organization to really improve the skills of, uh, uh, of um, our employee to reach that level. In the meantime, uh, the industry is changing and they are much less sophisticated uh, video equipment and uh, will be our intent to come back in a year or so with some alternative recommendation for your consideration how this uh, ongoing need to inspect and to incorporate our inspection methodology in our management of the system will be handled. Okay. Thank you. And to the chair, just, just so I'm clear too, is uh, as far as us being self-sufficient in analyzing, collecting, proposing an action plan, what I'm hearing you say in the end was uh, not now and maybe in a year or two you might come back, but it's technical, it's uh, that staff that we currently have or uh, our managers or whatever are not skilled at this point in which to do that, uh, so we'll be, as Council Member Salazar said, to be independent at this time. Maybe I would just add some additional clarification, not just necessarily not skilled, but also it's a matter of uh, efficiency and time, how long time in the beginning during that learning curve would take to, take to do the same thing and how much time would take uh, from our own um, employee. Yeah, and I want to clarify when I say skill, I'm not saying that they're not capable. Okay. I'm just saying that you're not trained. If you've never done it, yeah. And yes. you, you, then yes. you're not skilled yes. at that. Yes. Not, not that you yes. want me down there, yes. but I'm just saying. So I just want to clarify what what I meant by that. We just don't have the staff okay. at this point. Okay. Okay. Any questions or action? I'll, I'll introduce the resolution. Vice Mayor O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Council Member Medina. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. 